Hey guys, today we are going to be building a portable workshop station 4x8 using Craig's new pocket hose system. We're also going to be putting in a table saw. I use reclaimed material, uh, so I had to do a little prep work before. Uh, but basically it's 4x4s in the corners. And i um, just going to be laying out my material to get a basic idea of how it's going to look. Now we'll just get our measurement uh, in between our 4x4s uh, so we know how to make our cuts. I'm using Craig's um, portable rip cut for the aprons and kind of laying out the aprons just to see if they're going to fit correctly uh, before we actually start uh, screwing everything into place. And of course we want to make sure it's level and prior to this I made sure that my uh, base was level. Again I use reclaimed so um, doing a little thickness planing there. Now I'm going to uh, the short aprons uh, using the uh, 720 Pro by Craig. I'm going to go ahead and put my pocket holes in. You'll notice there is zero dust coming from that. Uh, and now this is the 520 Pro by Craig that I'm going to um, put my pocket holes in my long aprons. I'm going to block up my aprons um, as I put them in. I want a little space on the bottom. I do want uh, this table to be a little taller so I can stand uh, or sit on a stool. Uh, the legs themselves will be right around 30, 36, uh, 35 and a quarter inches long. Uh, that way it'll give me a 36 inch uh, tabletop. Again, using the 520, uh, this has became my new favorite tool, just the versatility of it. And uh, since this is the base and I'm planning on putting in a table saw, this is just extra support underneath of the table saw and will actually give me something to screw into uh, once I get my top plate on. and just getting a um, center support ready. I do plan on putting quite a bit of weight on this, so I'm gonna beef it up a little bit. Again, blocking everything up. Um, now I'm I'm prepping the the base plate uh, to go over uh, what I've already created and just uh, cutting out the the outline of the uh, four by fours that I have in the corners. That way that it can slide into place. We want to make sure to do this before we put the top on, or uh, this base will not go on. Now it's time for the casters. Um, make sure you get the locking casters. That way while you're working, uh, the, the bench itself is not moving around. And she's ready. This is always the fun part, putting in uh, large pieces by yourself. And the base drops right in. Putting in the uh, long aprons with uh, three and a half inch um, 
Craig screws. As you can see, I use a ratchet strap there. Um, oftentimes in the place of pipe clamps if I do not have have pipe clamps that are long enough. And now just getting my measurements of my table saw that I'm wanting to incorporate into this build. Pretty much every table saw will have different dimensions. Um, so if you're planning on building this, you'll have to uh, you'll have to put in the work on, on the measuring um, and get everything lined out for the saw or for your particular saw. I lay it out on the base as well as the side posts. And then once you have the layout, uh, you can determine what type of supports that you need up top and where your top cutout is going to be. Again, the 520. Again, just mocking up my, my layout. After I have pocket holes and everything, um, going ahead and attaching it uh, remember I put that base board underneath of the base plate and that gives me something to drill into. Everything's level. And we'll, do, we'll put in our side supports for the um, table saw. And the 520 again. The versatility of this tool is amazing I'm just going around um, I wanted my my screws to be hidden underneath of the table I didn't want any type of screw holes for uh, dust to collect in and fastening a uh, top support kiddos got home from school so had a little help there and lining up the top of my table saw. Oftentimes on table saws, the tops are not squared with the base. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, usually the right side is offset, so your guide uh, will have a little extra room. Make sure to leave room for the guide to lock in and unlock whenever you're um, laying out your cutouts and I have everything uh, fastened with an inch and a quarter pocket hole screws from the underneath. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my um, space for my table saw and we can actually use this cutout um, for the stand that we built earlier. We, we will just essentially drop it straight down to the left a little bit in my case then I'll fasten that down uh, with a couple of screws. With a little help I put the table saw in and we check and everything looks great. Now I'm going to go ahead and just use an uh, inch and a quarter screws uh, for the base. This is pretty much just going to be a storage area and I'm going to put a sacrificial board all around uh, both sides of my sheeting. Everything looks flat, everything is level, and we're done. Pretty easy build, you can do it um, in a day. And the amazing new Craig products. Give me a like, follow for more.